Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna show you how to host an ASP.NET web page and a web service to uh, some hosting website. So I have a web service here which uses a connection uh, string, I mean which uses a database. So uh, just go to the site somi.com and then create a free account. So it's totally free. So as you can see I have created a a web domain I have registered a domain and I have created a database with the name project TV so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this project TV and uh, you get the connection string here when you go there just copy the connection string copy the entire connection string go to your studio the web.config file paste everything so this is my connection string that I've pasted is the entire connection string so the name of the connection string is again project tv and uh, here i'm saying it's project tv yeah now let's go ahead and host it so right click on this open file in a open folder in a file explorer and uh, you just mark everything and then say okay so let's do something uh, I'm gonna create a new folder with the name uh, some demo okay and uh, I'm gonna copy each and everything control copy paste it here and then I'm gonna zip it don't wrap it just zip it uh, with the name service okay it's with the name service so go to the site in the entertainment.somi.com if you come down go to the file manager and uh, here mm, upload you can only upload zip files so browse it and uh, uh, it's in where is it It's in uh, my documents Visual Studio 2012 and then uh, websites website one demo this one open and then upload and unzip the archives. So just give it a moment. So everything is done. So at this stage, what you need to do is, you also need to upload the MDF and LDF file. So the way you do it is, mm, okay, get data log files, oh no, okay, so me dot yeah. Oh, sorry. To the databases and uh, manage, and then attach database. So here, go ahead and uh, browse the MDF file here. So the MDF file will be in the app underscore data. Browse it. And then the LDF file log dot LDF browse it say okay load files and attach say okay uh, let's wait until everything is done taking some time here so meanwhile this is my web service and these are all the web methods that are written in my service after this I'm going to show you how to host the website itself so okay now that we are done with the web service let's go ahead and open um, open project 
solution when you say mm, from scratch this is my solution you come here yes save the changes so this is my entire website mm, see, as you can see I've added my local host web service in here so yeah it has been deployed successfully so let's go ahead and check my web service if it's running perfectly or not so entertainment.sumi.com slash uh, the name of the service.asmx oops section names could have load something going wrong what is wrong okay it says okay um, let's go ahead and fix the error go to the entertainment thing go to the file manager and uh, in the web.config file edit the text oh, just see the error it says uh, section name script resource handler type web.config ok so in the section group section name oh this one script resource handler remove the entire thing So remove the entire thing and then I think it's gonna throw the throw the same error for all the section names here. So in order to fix the error, I'm gonna remove all the things. Okay, I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna save it. Okay, save now. I'm gonna refresh this page. Yeah my service is up and it's running so copy the URL here copy the URL go to the studio and here uh, first of all I'm gonna delete this web service from my solution so remove ok uh, ok now Uh, remove the app underscore web resources folder the whole uh, right click add news add web add service reference go to advanced uh, and say add web reference copy the URL here and then say go so you get all the methods here I'm gonna name it as pro like my older service thing because if I change the name I need to change it in all the pages it's hectic so I just named it wrong so let's build it to see if there is no error so build has succeeded so right click and open hold ok so once that my web service is running don't try to host your website by creating a new folder here uh, it's you're going to end up getting errors so what I've done is what I've done is I've created another account in the same website uh, and I'm going to host my website in this thing ok so go to the user home and then uh, uh, this is com. so file manager First of all, I'm gonna delete all the files that were previously in here. So delete all the files. Say OK. Well, it, it got deleted. So right click, open it in a open folder in File Explorer. Copy all the files. Control copy, and then. I've created a folder here control A control B yeah copy and replace yes oh it's just 7.6 is MB okay so everything is done I'm gonna delete this movie thing. so 
So control A and then I'm going to do the same thing, zip it. So compress zip thing with the name okay let's say okay M movie let's do it with the name movie okay so it has done it so the same process again upload browse the movie open and uh, upload and unzip archives i think it's gonna take some time so just give it a moment so so this is my website and that's a movie management website where you can search for a movie I've used various APIs in order to get the data and uh, all the APIs I'm consuming I'm consuming it in the web service and uh, the web service I'm consuming it in the client application over here so yeah let's give it a moment to finish loading uh, I'm sorry I'm not pausing the video but if I pause the video uh, it's going to split up into two files which is again a problem for me in order to match the files and upload so just, just forward the video if you don't want to see this part it's, yeah finally it has done so these are all my files so the name of the website is moviefreak.sony.com so in a new tab I'm gonna say moviefreak.sony.com slash my first page is home.aspx run it let's see yep there it goes it runs yeah here's my website let's uh, see if all the pages are working so theater search I'm gonna save on date okay and then save zip search yep there you go i'm getting all the movies nearby my area uh, get directions yeah yeah i'm getting everything even the intelligence for the directions page is working click here to view go to movie info and uh, search movie say travel to help okay i'm gonna search this movie yep everything is up and running but the only problem is it says web hosting by sony.com you know all the pages it says the same thing yeah you see this web hosting by sony.com that's kind of annoying but yeah that's okay so this is my web, web page thank you for watching